So why don't you go ahead and try these three examples here? Now you'll notice that it's more difficult whenever I take the triangle and I turn it round into strange positions. But take your time and work through each of them and see if you can get the answers. So let's work through the first one together. Okay. So we're looking for this distance here. Well, we can see here that if this is a right angle here, and we're looking, we've got this angle here, so this distance here is going to be our x. So this is our x, and this distance up here is going to be our y, and this distance is going to be our r. So we can say then that if we were wanting to find this distance x, we know that we can use the tangent, so we know that the y divided by the x is going to be the tan of 40 degrees. So we can say y upon x equals the tan of 40 degrees. So we can say then that the y distance is going to equal the x tan 40. Okay, so y is going to equal x tan 40 degrees. But we know the y height is going to be 28, so we've got 28 equals x tan 40 degrees. So we can say then that x is going to equal 28 divided by the tan of 40 degrees. So we can put this into the calculator and we'll get the value for our x. So go ahead and see if you can get the second one done. So now we can see here we've got this angle here. So the distance along here is going to be our value of x. We can see our distance along here is going to be a value of y and the distance along here be a value of r. So we're looking to find this length here. But we've got this one and this one we've got a y and an r. So we know that the y divided by the r is going to equal the well, y divided by r is going to be the sine of this angle 20 degrees. So it's going to be the sine of 20 degrees. So we can say that y is going to equal r sine 20 degrees. So we've already got the value of r. So y is going to equal 101 times the sine of 20 degrees. So we want to put this one into the graphical calculator and check and see what the value of y is. Now finally we can look at this one here. So we know this length is our r. This is our 18 degrees. This is where our x and this is going to be a value of y. Now we're looking to find the y distance. So again we know that y divided by the r is going to be the sine of 18 degrees. So again we can say that y upon r is equal to the sine of 18 degrees. So we can therefore say that the y distance is going to equal the 104 times the sine of 18 degrees. So we'll put this into the graphical calculator and we'll get the value of y. So let's go ahead and we'll put them into the calculator now and we'll get each of these values. So let's put our values in. Our first one here is x is equal to 28 divided by the tan of 40 degrees. And that's going to give us 33.4 meters. So the second one is 101 times the sine of 20 degrees. That's the sine 20 degrees. That's going to give us 34.5 meters. And the last example we did was 104 times the sine of 18 degrees. And that gives us 
0.1 meters. So I, I created those three triangles uh, pretty randomly. I just threw them together pretty quickly. If you want, you can go and create your own triangles and your, put on your own length and an angle and try and find one of the other lengths and just mess about with it, have a little bit of fun and see whether you can uh, learn something from it or you get a bit of practice in picking out the sine, the cosine and the tan functions. So that's all for this video. I'll get you in the next video. Goodbye.